And so that kind of brings us to the next section of the presentation, which is, you know, what is Rule 23C4 and, you know, how does that interplay with the earlier provisions of the rule? And um, for plaintiffs who are trying to seek to certify a class, you know, where can they employ this rule and where have they, they sought to employ this rule? So um, this set, uh, what we have here on the screen is an excerpt from an article that's available on the web from uh, Leaf Cabraser, which is a big plaintiff's firm. And you can see here that they're indicating um, that a majority of circuits recognize that Rule 23C4 may be used even, indeed, especially when the action as a whole cannot satisfy the predominance requirement of Rule 23B3. And so this is them kind of indicating Rule 23C4 may be a lower bar to meet than the predominance requirement that Frank was just talking about, which really is um, the crux of many of decisions and, and an important issue the plaintiffs need to satisfy in order to certify their class. And um, here you can see that the plaintiffs are, are indicating that you know, they may be able to employ this in lieu of 23B3. 